Did you know that 75% of real estate agents fail within their first year, according to the National Association of Realtors? And in the first quarter of 2023, more than 60,000 realtors left the profession. You may ask, why would someone choose to get their real estate license? Or like me, why would I quit my 17-year corporate job at the height of a pandemic only to become a realtor? Well, that's what I'm going to be talking to you about in this video, why I decided to quit my 17-year corporate job in the natural gas industry to become a realtor. My name is Rita Lewis, and I'm a real estate professional, also a home counselor with EXP Realty here in the West Houston, Texas suburb called Katy, Texas. So I assist both buyers and sellers with their real estate needs, your dreams, your questions, and it's really all about your timeline. So let's talk about it. Why do most realtors leave the profession, you may wonder? Well, I'm just going to give you my point of view because it could vary from realtor to realtor, but it could be putting over 60,000 miles on your uh, car in the first year real estate. That was me. I put over 60,000 miles on my car the first year real estate, and it really is just because Texas is so big. I was so new, and I was driving all over the place, um, taking clients to see hundreds of homes and potentially not even being able to purchase a home because in the market in 2020 was so competitive that you really couldn't win a home because you were up against so much competition. So that could be a reason that would cause someone to leave the real estate industry. Or it could be the stress of, you know, taking over 300 hours of um, licensing classes, you have to get licensed and you have to pass exams with the national and state exams and learn all these laws for your state. So every state is different. And the state of Texas is one of the longest requirements as far as hours and knowledge that I've heard of, you know. So it could be the stress of having to pass those state and national exams. So really, there are many reasons why people leave the profession, but let's talk about why I actually joined the profession. So when I meet people, you know, my mother, she actually worked 30 years in the nursing industry at a hospital there in Ohio. And trust me, being in the medical industry is not for the faint of heart. You may be wondering, what are we talking about medical or real estate? Well, I know being a realtor is not exactly like being a doctor or a nurse, but I must say that there are some similarities because both do require state and national licensing. It requires long hours of commitment, and it really, most importantly, requires a genuine love for people. Because if you do not love working with people, then you may not love being a realtor. So that may be another reason why some people leave the industry because it really does require a special type of person to be a realtor and to take your time and make sure that you are finding out that individual's you know needs and wants and desires. And you know the feeling that you get when you find a doctor. You know, my doctor in Ohio, he was amazing. He would sit down, he would take out his clipboard and, you know, really listen to all of my concerns and get to the bottom of issues and then provide a real solution. Well, those are some of the same skills that are needed and required to become a successful real estate agent. And I believe that's going to get you in, you know, allow you to last for the long term. So in 2022, I actually earned the Platinum Medallion Award, the coveted Platinum Medallion Award from one of the top brokerages in the company. I'm sorry, in the country, one of the top brokerages in the country, I'm sure you heard of, which is Keller Williams. So I was um, awarded the Platinum Medallion Award for being one of the top agents on Houston's number two selling team, which was the Grimion Group at the time. 
and um, and I'm also a platinum agent with Houston's Association of Realtors, better known as HAR, HAR.com. And I am a top rated agent on the Houston Association of Realtors. Um, some of the nice things that uh, my past clients have mentioned is they have rated me for honesty, dependability, as well as professionalism. So uh, all of that good stuff is out there on HAR for the public to see. Um, actually, how we ended up here in Katy, Texas, um, is my family actually relocated from Columbus, Ohio during the height of the pandemic in 2020. Now we sold our home actually in one day and drove 19 hours across the country from Columbus to Houston. And I have another video that goes into details about all the crazy stuff about our move. And we actually landed in a master plan community here in Katy, Texas. So if you're interested in learning more about like master plan communities, because I had never heard of a master plan community before, then let me know below in the comments and I will make a video talking about master plan communities and what that all entails. So um, when we moved to Katy, we actually didn't have any family here. We've never even stepped foot in Texas before. And so really we took a big leap of faith during that time. And um, I had so many people ask me, you know, what made you choose to move during that time? What made you choose Katy and everything like that? And honestly, you know, it really was a big leap of faith during that time. And I did have like a lot of family members and my parents and everyone telling me like, just wait until all this crazy stuff is over. Don't leave right now. But I just felt my spirit was driving me to take a risk. And um, so that is, that is why we left during that time. And it really was a lot of divine guidance, but at the same time, it was me doing a lot of research using YouTube. So um, that's another video, like I said, uh, below that goes into details about our move. And uh, in my 20s, I actually purchased two properties and did a fix and flip and uh, rented them out. I became a landlord, then eventually sold those properties in Ohio. And then in our my early 30s, uh, my husband and I, we built our first home from dirt. And so during those times, you know, I really wish that I had a knowledgeable agent who had stuck with me and really helped me learn the buying process. I had worked with probably over like four to five different realtors and I just did not have that experience. And it really wasn't until I met this loan officer, shout out to Brooke Gibbs. Uh, Brooke is I think in North Carolina and Ohio right now, but he was so patient. He was brand new out the gate, but he really took the time to explain like literally from A to Z, the home buying process and what we needed to get our home. And it took us about almost nine, 10 months before we were able to get into our first home and build that home ourselves from dirt. So um, it was really that moment of me talking to Brooke that I knew that this was something that I wanted to do too, was to help people understand this seemingly complicated process, but at the same time, make it fun, exciting, yet educational. I really wanted to help people make the dream of home ownership a reality because I knew just how much it changed our lives. And without our home, we actually would not have been able to make the move. We wouldn't have been able to afford to make the move to Texas without selling our home and having equity and everything like that. So, um, you know, the home really was the beginning of our be starting to build wealth. And even though there's so many agents that fell within the first few years of real estate, I really was determined that that does not have to be my story. And thankfully I am still here today. And I believe really, you know, the biggest risk have the highest rewards and you have to be willing also to put in the work. So I've been on an endeavor to break all barriers and to make everyone have a personalized experience 
because everyone's experience is going to be different when it comes to their real estate needs and, you know, what home is going to work for you and whatnot. Also, I am backed by 17 years of experience working in corporate America, working for Columbia Gas of Ohio. Um, shout out to those guys. I mean, I have so many great relationships that I've built over the years at Columbia Gas and the experience, and that really prepared me for running my own business because, you know, you go through, I wore so many hats in that company that um, that helped me to be able to set myself up for success. Now, I didn't know it then, but I definitely know it now. So I absolutely bring a unique blend of skills to the real estate realm. Um, plus being a person who's relocated myself, I have that as my background. And my commitment really does extend beyond just a transaction because really it's going to be about securing the right home that aligns with your desires and then ensuring that your property, if you're selling, sells for the best possible value, but also has the proper exposure for the market. And also, I've worked for one of the oldest builders here in Texas, and I've built many homes from dirt here and actively participated in the home construction process and the design process and, you know, knowing the ins and outs on from the slab of the home all the way to completion. And so really, whether you're embarking on the journey of finding your dream home or selling your property... I am here to guide you every step of the way. So if you are ready to embark on this exciting journey with me together, then your goals become my top, pri my top priority. And um, again, you know, home ownership is just not about a transaction. It's really a partnership. And I usually tell people, if you're hire me, you know, to, to represent you, then I am going to be that partner with you for life because at some point your children may need help or you may want to sell your home and, and, uh, you may have other questions and things like that. So I really am dedicated to turning your real estate aspirations into a reality. So please do not hesitate to reach out. My contact information will be below. Maybe I'll have it somewhere here, <laughs> but definitely below if you have any questions about relocating or moving to the West Texas area or any of the surrounding communities here in the area. I have built some great relationships. Um, I've built some really great relationships with many of the local builders here in the area. So really allow me to use my leverage, my relationships, my experience to get you the very best opportunity and also negotiate in your behalf. So I truly look forward to working with you to understand your unique lifestyle, your unique needs and wishes. And I really do hope that you like this video. Um, you can go ahead and give me a thumbs up and share this video with anyone that, you know, you may be relocating, moving anywhere in the United States or moving here to Texas. And just remember that a real estate professional is going to ensure that it's not just about real estate. It's not just about properties. It's really about you. And it's going to be about your needs, your dreams, your questions, and really it is about your timeline. So that is what you want to make sure when you do hire a real estate professional, that they are meeting those criteria. So in the next video, I'm going to talk about my top five reasons for moving to Katy, Texas in 2024. And that is, again, in the, the suburbs of beautiful Houston, Texas. So check out that video. I may have it here. It'll be in the description. It'll be somewhere so that you can check out that video and learn what Katy, Texas has to offer for you. So thank you again for watching and have a blessed day. Take care. Okay, guys. So we are going to our first Houston Rockets game.